mental math. Students will show you just how skilled they are. And not only these students, we're going to show you that any of the children can have access to this. These students love math because of the way that they're being taught. And we see that all children truly can learn. So you will see the master teacher working with their students. You will also see some of the students who've gone through the program. And what they will do is show you some of the skills that they've learned and how they have transferred that into just regular everyday math. You will also see parents involved, the parental parent component is so important. You will see them get engaged so that they will know how to help their children when they get home, which is a critical part of this program. Then you will also hear from the master teacher herself. She will show you the techniques, the tools needed. Believe me, all children can learn. No child doesn't have to be left behind and we're excited about mathematics. Believe me, you're going to be excited about being here. Tonight you're going to get a chance to see what we've been talking about and celebrating over the last few years. Let's take a look and see what happens. Our daughter was very, um, um, she was afraid of math. Our daughter Alexandria was very frustrated with uh, the subject of math. She would come home, uh, she would have homework. We ask, you know, do you have your math homework? She wouldn't want to do it. She, you know, said she didn't understand what she was doing and she was always getting the answers wrong. And so it was a very stressful time for uh, us and her. So um, once we were in the class, uh, within the uh, second week, there was a big difference. And what we saw was that when she, we would ask her to do her homework, she was very receptive to doing it. If she got any wrong, she would, you know, go back over it and understood that there was a process to making the answer right. And that's what she got from this program, is that there's a process for this addition, subtraction, division, or multiplication, that there's a process, and if you use that process, you get the answer right. And she told me, matter of fact, in those words, if you do that, your answer's right. But after two weeks, you know, we knew that this was the program for her. And so I've uh, spoken with her teacher, and she says that, you know, Alex's attitude with uh, the subject of math has just, you know, been totally different. That she goes back and tries to do it on her own, tries to work the process through, and uh, is able to, you know, concentrate and figure out exactly what it is she should be doing and, and accomplish the correct answer. So this is just really... Um, I don't know about you, but I, I mean, we're just, I'm just really excited for her. Mental math is a wonderful program. We were introduced to it, um, I'm an educator, I should say, and one of my uh, former students there was in the mental math program. Very mature young man, very well rounded, and I actually was able to watch how he did math versus the other students on the math team. I was very impressed with it talked with him about it and we decided that was something that we would like to see for our daughter who liked math but it wasn't her strong suit so we thought this might be something that would um, bolster her confidence. Guided. Our daughter is doing extremely well and I think as they get older they actually see more of the benefits. So she's seven right now and so she just sees easy math and from her class from her normal class and then harder math but that just means she's being challenged. My name is Chang Lee and my, my son's name is uh, Jonathan and Jonathan is always do a uh, fast work okay he is, his teacher always complain that he likes to do work really fast but doesn't have you know to do work quickly he kind of compromise his quality okay so um, I heard the pro this mental math program from a friend okay so I want to send him you know so I sent him over to this program and now I can see, you know, he's more concentrating on his work. Okay, he can do everything really quick, but with the accuracy right now. Okay, he's concentrating on what he's doing. He doesn't need to spend a lot of time on his homework. And he, you know, he's doing so well in his class. So he's so proud of himself. He has a self-confidence and his friend always say that he is so good and he is smart. Okay, I think this is also bring him 
not only the um, you know excellency in his uh, uh, curriculum, but also bring him the confidence. I'm back again, and I'm here with this master teacher. All of that that you've seen, and these students that she's been able to elevate to higher heights in mathematics, this is Yvonne saying, and she is the master teacher, and the one that's going to help children in America as she's helped the children in Taiwan. And you were a teacher in a public school, and I think you told me you taught from first grade, and that you uh, that you you taught mathematics, and you were top uh, yeah. mathematics student when you were growing up. Is that yes, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay. So then, so my students they always the top the same grade. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, so you knew you had chosen the right profession. Yeah. So okay. that then I know this is belongs to me. So okay. so I'm happy. Oh, I'm very happy. good. Well, you're good at what you do, and it shows with the children that you're working uh, with. So you came over to the United States. You were in Taiwan, and you saw how long in Taiwan. It's almost 20-something. Yeah. Okay, 20-something years, yeah. and then you came over to the United States, yes. and you've done this for about 11 years? 11 years. So mm -hmm. let's talk about the, what you do. What, does, what makes mental math work? What is this really all about? I, th I think that what we said when you were in Taiwan, you all started out, and uh, the, the master teachers used this uh, instrument here, the abacus? Yes. So the, uh, uh, the math I'm teaching right now mm -hmm. is it, coming from... Uh, this abacus. Mm -hmm. So the the abacus that that it start from a thousand years mm -hmm. from China. Mm -hmm. uh, then like thirty years ago, before so before thirty years ago, so the student they has to be very tough. Mm -hmm. And then they join the test. They can get into the school to learn abacus. Okay, only so, just a few students could go yeah, in. Yeah, right. This? Because then they has to be very smart. Then when they get into the school, they teach the, uh, the abacus. So after they graduate, they, they get into the bank mm -hmm. and they get high salary. Mm -hmm. so, so everybody like to go to the school like this kind. So start the, uh, the abacus, they are like high school age. Okay. And then after the calculator come out or computer, they find out the computer and calculator, so nobody going to touch this anymore. Okay. But after, you know, the um, after this uh, abacus is getting, you know, just uh, ignored by people, mm -hmm. but someone find out something very amazing because they find out even they don't have to use this, mm -hmm. they still can add and subtract and multiply. Mm -hmm. So why? Because the, the those people they get into the uh, the the bus like we say like business school training students okay. doing uh, you know the business they use the abacus, mm -hmm. so they find out after they go through like two years practice this, mm -hmm. then they can see it okay. in their brain. So what, let me mm -hmm. ask this, so mm -hmm. you're saying that at first you were using the abacus, mm -hmm. and then uh, as people start to want to use the computer more, they no, they no longer wanted to come to take this abacus uh, class with the abacus, but you found a way and others found a way to actually see this abacus in your head. So that's why it's mental math, is yeah, that right? Yes. Oh, okay, so, that, makes, yeah. that makes sense. If you would go and look at uh, the students that you taught and the skills that they came in with and what you've been able to add to the, those children and their ability to do math, what would you see would be some, say, would be some of the main differences that you see? In other words, how have they improved from when they came in, you saw what they, where they were? And where were you able to move them to? Can you so they, so uh, after they learned the mental math, mm -hmm. uh, they, they they learn the music. Mm -hmm. They can easy to remember mm -hmm. the music they play. Okay. Yeah. They're playing an instrument, they can. Remember yeah, they, that. they they can play the instrument <coughs> easy. Then they, they remember the whole sound. Okay. So because they they just can directly see how the memory improve, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also um, like spelling everything. Mm -hmm. So they said they they just need to look at it. They don't have to write down like three times, four times, five times. Mm -hmm. They just look at it and then they can spell none of them wrong. Mm -hmm. Mental math is something that will work. I've seen it. We've seen it work well. We've heard from parents that work well. And Yvonne, I say you're doing a great job. You are truly a master teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much.